and the voice of bridegroom and bride shall not be heard in you anymore. You see, the light, why the light first and then the, bride and the, the bridegroom and the bride? Because what is the bride and the bridegroom? Yeah, marriage, correct. But what happens in marriage? There is a bond. There is unity. There is a link together. So, you see, there is no light. There is no trade, no work. There is no more bond between America and the rest of the world. There is no more bond between America and so many other nations of the world. Because when America gets struck, that relationship, just like in the marriage where the two become one, and don't forget, what is the UN? <laughs> United. <laughs> United Nations over evilness. They're united, like the matrimonial bond. But this unity is outside of Jesus Christ. The only true unity is when Christ is the one who is bounding you together. If you are bounded outside of the Lord, there is no unity, there is no bond, everything is fake. Unless the Lord is in the equation, forget it. That is why so many relationships fall apart because they were never built on Christ. They were never founded on Christ. They were never bonded by Jesus Christ. They did it outside of the Lord. They loved each other outside of the Lord. They committed to each other outside of the Lord. They started strong. They ended up gone. Because the only relationship that lasts forever is when Christ is the foundation to that relationship. Period. The church walks away from the Lord, destroys, destroys itself. Family walks away from the Lord divides a person walks away from the Lord is lost is lost the current of the world will come and swipe just take you away from the Lord take you away from the Lord and when you walk away from the Lord there is only one thing darkness evilness death total destruction so the light of a lamp shall not shine in you anymore. No more trade. The voice of a bridegroom and the bride. Well, there is no more bond. If there is no more bond, there is no more trade. There is no more exchange. And you see, the, uh, the voice of the bridegroom and the bride shall not be heard in you anymore. Why? Because for your merchants were the great men of the earth. The merchants of yours, America, were the great men of the earth. Why were they great? Because you are great, America. At the moment, America is great, and whoever trades with America is also great. But when the great America goes, the great merchants will go with it. They will fall as well. Because when America's economy collapses, guess what? The rest of the world's economy will collapse. So all the other great nations will no longer be great because their economy will also come tumbling down to the ground. No more great. Living the American dream. <laughs> Don't know. Why do you want to live a dream? Isn't it much wiser to live a reality than a dream? Someone who lives a dream outside of the Lord is living emptiness, chasing the mirage in the wilderness, in the desert. Stop chasing the mirage, it's not water. So stop running after something that is non-existent. So you need to wake up, come to the light, who is Jesus Christ, and live the truth. What dream? Make America great again. Is that what they say? <laughs> Make America great again. The Lord Jesus is good, not great. So when somebody comes and says God is great, 
No, no, God is good. When you go beyond good, this is good and this is great. The moment you go and say great, you start comparing. So if you say God is great, what are you comparing God with? Is there someone else good and this God is better than the other one? Is it? So are you comparing God with someone else or with something else? No, God is good. Why? Because when it's good, there is no comparison. Why there is no comparison? Because God says, I'm the only one. There is no other one you compare me to. Because I am the only being that existed internally, not externally. You know, when you, when you hear the word, God is perfect. What does that mean, God is perfect? Maybe someone will say, well, God is perfect because everything in him is perfect. He didn't say much, did he? <laughs> God is perfect. Well, he's perfect. The way he talks, the way he does things, the way he walks, everything's perfect about him. No. Yes, but no. Why? When we say God is perfect, what does that mean? It means he is the only being that came into existence by himself and no one else. All of us and every other creation came into existence by an external force preceded that being. So we came because of mom and dad. If it wasn't for mom and dad, we wouldn't have come. So now who created me, mom and dad? By the grace of God, by the will of God, by the help of God. But on earth, who created me and brought me to earth? Mom and dad. So when somebody else created me, I cannot claim the word perfection upon myself. I'm not perfect because I did not create myself by myself. I did not come into existence by myself. Therefore, I will never be able to claim the word perfect for myself. But God can because he's the only being that came into existence by himself. There is no one else before him nor after him. Wow. That's why he's perfect. He came into existence by his own power. That's why his beginning has no beginning. 